last fateful Monday, the heavens wept with an unforgiving fury, as if mourning the tragedy that was about to unfold. Thunder rumbled like the roar of a thousand lions, and lightning danced across the skies, casting an eerie glow upon the chaos that ensued. Palmer Airport, a bustling hub of travel and commerce, found itself at the epicenter of this unfolding crisis. Flights were grounded, and travelers found themselves stranded, their plans for sun-soaked adventures replaced by scenes of utter pandemonium. As the rains lashed down, the streets of Molina de Segura bore the brunt of nature's onslaught. Rainfalls of up to 56 liters per square meter in just one hour transformed the once familiar landscapes into raging torrents, sweeping away everything in their path. The flood spared no one, indiscriminately engulfing homes, businesses, and vehicles alike. Molina de Segura was not alone in its plight. The relentless downpour extended its reach to the nearby regions of Alaza, Mula, Fortuna, Rio Ojos, and Cesa, leaving a trail of devastation in its wake. <laughs> The Mercier Ring Road, a vital artery for transportation, found itself crippled by the rising waters, causing significant traffic disruptions. As the flood waters surged, the municipalities of Las Torres de Cotillas, Molina de Segura, Quesada, and Alcanda emerged as the hardest hit, their residents left to grapple with the overwhelming power of nature's fury. While no significant personal injuries were reported, the aftermath left many shaken, with some showing signs of hypothermia after harrowing rescues from their submerged vehicles. In the face of this crisis, a valiant force of emergency responders sprang into action. Forest firefighters, environmental agents, technicians and security agents joined forces, working tirelessly to assist the affected population. Their unwavering dedication and selfless efforts served as a beacon of hope amidst the chaos. The heavy rains took no prisoners, leaving their mark on Marala, where a staggering 56 liters per square meter accumulated, transforming the landscape into a vast, unforgiving expanse of water. <laughs> In Mula, the deluge forced the closure of numerous roads, cutting off vital access routes and leaving residents trapped in their homes. The storm's fury extended beyond the confines of the mainland, reaching the Alaplano area, where strong winds toppled bushes and disrupted tram lines, further compounding the region's woes. The Yekla fire station found itself inundated with calls for assistance, responding to a litany of emergencies, from collapsed roofs to flooded garages. Even major thoroughfares like the Vala Highway fell victim to the relentless onslaught, submerged beneath the rising waters and rendered impassable. Amidst the chaos, businesses like Cave Home Coatings found themselves on the front lines of this battle against nature. 
Their pleas for long-term solutions from the government echoed through the storm, a desperate cry for respite from the recurring nightmare of flooding that threatened their very livelihoods. The devastation was not confined to the eastern regions of Spain. On that fateful Monday, the heavy rains caused significant disruptions across the nation, crippling transportation networks and forcing the cancellation of numerous flights. Palmer Airport, one of the busiest in the country, bore the brunt of the storm's wrath. Videos circulated online, revealing the harrowing scenes unfolding within the airport's confines. Rainwater flooded runways, transforming them into temporary lakes, while water gushed through the ceilings of duty-free shops, leaving passengers and staff scrambling for safety. The flooding extended beyond Palma, hitting the region of Mia and other areas with equal ferocity. Roads became impassable, landslides occurred, and buildings sustained considerable damage. The 112 Emergency Coordination Center was inundated with a staggering 324 calls related to the rain and storm issues, a testament to the widespread devastation. Los Torres de Cotillas emerged as the most affected municipality, with a staggering 104 emergency calls, followed closely by the city of Meria with 98 calls, Molina de Segura with 23, Cieza with 22, and Alcantarilla with 20 calls. In the towns of Cieza and Moratala, the skies unleashed a torrent of rain, with around 60 liters falling in just a few hours, transforming roads into raging rivers and swelling nearby waterways to dangerous levels. The storm's impact extended far beyond the immediate destruction, disrupting the holiday plans of countless British tourists who had hoped to escape the gloomy spring weather back home. Instead of basking in the warmth of the Spanish sun, they found themselves caught in the midst of a natural disaster, their dreams of respite replaced by scenes of chaos and devastation. 